boxing truth here. Just a post fight review of the Canelo Alvarez Amir Khan fight. Pretty much predictable fight. Went as expected. Pretty much Khan was going to try to play cat and mouse with Canelo, do a lot of movement, try to bother Canelo with his his speed and his movement and he did a good job of limiting the damage in the first few rounds but I mean Khan was at times looking like he was running fighting like a bitch at times even not really doing much offensively I mean I watched it on the radio because I was not paying for this physical Mitch match so I I listened to it on the radio, if you know what I mean. But I caught the Box Nation feed. I didn't watch the HBO telecast, so I don't know how biased they were towards Canelo. But let me tell you, shit. The Box Nation commentators, dick riding Amir Khan's uh, effectiveness in the fight. I don't. I mean, he was affected of not getting hit too much. But in, like, in the rounds, I mean, maybe you can give Khan two rounds. My opinion. I mean, the, the the earlier rounds, some of them hard to score. Not much happened, but it's not like Khan was doing much offensively. A little, a little too much movement. I, I gave him the first round. I was being generous though. I mean, both guys landed some shots in that round. In that round, and then the second, third, fourth, they were close, but not much was going on in the rounds. Pretty much, Canelo was dictating. The ring generalship, he was making Khan run around the ring. Khan was not really trying to land anything of, of significance, which is truly pretty much just trying to out-touch or play tag with Canelo at times. And I wasn't impressed with it. I mean, he just, he really, his game plan was to move around, move around, keep keep uh, Canelo off balance, not able to land uh, his not able to throw his his trademark combinations and he was effective in doing that but not much effective at all offensively and you can see as the rounds were on the all that movement you got to be in great shape to, to to display all that movement for 12 rounds all that uh, running around and constantly changing changing uh your footing and going different you know different uh angles switching uh positions and going from the right to the left he was doing that a lot but it takes a lot out of your legs and you know Khan's coming off a year layoff and he doesn't really box like that on a regular for 12 straight rounds he likes to get in and fight sometimes he likes to get be aggressive you know stay in the pocket but he was moving a lot in this fight because he had to he was in brave danger throughout the fight he was in there with a guy who could knock his lights out the first big punch he landed and you can see before the knockout, before Khan got ice, Khan got hit with a left hook and it hurt him. It hurt him. He, he felt it. He saw him wince in pain a little bit. And you can just see by the fifth round, Canelo already had everything on lock. He had, he had Khan figured out. He was closing the distance. He was getting him in much better range to land his shots. And um, Khan was just getting more tired and a little more fatigue, feeling the fatigue in his legs, and he was, you know, forced to not move as much and, and allow Canelo to get into punching range. And and then the sixth round came, and the expected happened. The first real big shot Canelo landed with, with a full force. Good right hand. Uh, Khan's left hand was way too low. And boom, it was lights out. Got chinned, got flattened. Khan was knocked out before he hit the floor. I take no pleasure in watching Amir Khan get knocked out. I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't excited. I wasn't celebrating because I expected it. I predicted it once the the fucking fight got announced. It was a physical mismatch. It was a complete cherry pick by Canelo. A, a pay per view showcase. Felt bad for anybody that paid money for that physical mismatch. But some people were intrigued by the fight. It was a, a, a creative fight by Golden Boy. But ultimately, 
most people knew what was going to happen. And, that, and that's exactly what happened. Um, congratulations to Canelo on a, a win that he was supposed to get. He, was, he did what he was supposed to do. So I give Canelo props for doing what I expected him to do. And he, he did the, the, exactly the expected. I mean, Khan got knocked the fuck out. Out, he got iced. It was a violent knock knockout. His head hit the the canvas on the floor very hard. His head hit the hit the canvas very hard. Uh, he seems okay. He's he was uh, he was up. He was doing an interview, so I'm glad he's okay. I really take no pleasure in watching Amir Khan get knocked out. I already I've already seen it twice before, so I'm I'm, I'm like I'm past that stage. I'm not a big Khan fan. I, I criticize Khan. I think he's a fucking idiot, but you know the decisions he's made in his career. But he's, I respect what he does outside the ring. He's a good ambassador to the sport. I really respect what he does outside the ring. He's just an idiot in boxing. He's a fucking idiot with his decisions. But he got paid a good sum of money for this fight. Good payday, a six million dollar guarantee in the U.S. Plus, you count the the money he's gonna get from the. The Box Nation telecast, the Box Nation pay per view, his sponsors, uh, other shit. He's gonna end up well over ten million just to get iced by Canelo. So, while he got his his he got his ass knocked out, got a good payday out of it. But I don't know. I I think Canelo. I mean, Khan should consider retirement. Third time he's been violently knocked out. Con- he he got concussed most likely in this fight. I mean, he was out before he hit the floor. He was down on the on the mat for for quite a while. Just a a vicious knockout by Canelo. Canelo in his interview did exactly what he did in his last fight. He was amped up, got a a great knockout win, was full of testosterone, feeling like the man, feeling like a G. Said he invited Triple G to come up to the ring. Saying that he don't fuck around. We Mexican. We ain't afraid of nobody. And that he's ready to put the gloves on today, right now. But he said that shit the last time. And look what happened. What's going to happen this time? He's going to ask for another voluntary defense from, from the Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC president. He's going to try and negotiate his way out of a fight with Triple G. Because all I hear is a lot of talking shit, but I don't see a lot of action. And Amir Khan called Canelo out on that. He said, yo, show some balls, step up into the ring with a guy your fucking size. Just like Khan showed some balls by fighting a guy who was much bigger than he was. And was <clears throat> violently knocked out because the size differential, the power differential, the strength differential, and also Khan's chin ain't all that good. So this is what Golden Boy brought to you fans, a mismatch. Where, where the, the physicality was just too much. The, the, the gap was just too big. I really take no pleasure out of Khan getting knocked out like that. As I said before. So, But all you Amir Khan fanboys. I want a fucking apology on my page. With this video. So all you motherfuckers that, that talk shit. That say I don't know shit about boxing. Eat that fucking crow. I don't give a fuck. Your ass is stupid, dumb motherfucking idiots that actually thought Khan was going to win this fight. Hate to say I told you so, but I expect apology to all y'all motherfuckers, all y'all American fanboys who talk shit about me. So, with that said, the expected win by Canelo Alvarez, we finally, hopefully, will get some answers very soon about Canelo's next fight. We all hope it's Triple G, but... Most people feel it's not going to happen. Canelo's talking a good game like he always does. But he's already swerved his way out of a mandatory shot with, with Golovkin for May. He might as well do it. He may as well do it again. Swerve his way out of a, a mandatory defense against Golovkin for a potential Manny Pacquiao fight in September at Cowboy Stadium. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.